Hey Leo, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. What do we need to know here, please? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. We're ready for the Leo weekly reading. Guys, this reading is for Leo or anyone else who's guided to see this reading for whatever reason they're guided here. It could resonate right now or later on down the line. I'm going to be using several decks here. The Angels and Ancestors Oracle will just grab a couple of those to get started. Beautiful Lightseer's Tarot deck. Beautiful um, Silver Witchcraft deck. Uh, this reading is predictive. So my readings are all predictive. So if you don't know what this is, all the more reason to pay close attention because they're predictions. So they're most likely things you don't know about or you're not sure is gonna how they're going to end up. Also, um, multiple messages could come out during this reading right till the very last second and multiple storylines could do the same right to the very last second. Okay, let's do it. Leo, Leo reading for anyone who's guided. What do we need to know about it? What do we need to focus on? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, Leo reading, please, for the week or whenever anyone's guided. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. Okay, what else? Oh, Air Guardian, shift your perception and wise one. Whoo, I got chills. These are good ones. All right, so Spirit says, trust in what you don't know and shift your perception. So they want you to look at something from another perspective maybe a higher perspective like that eagle and as the wise woman um grow within your current situations she is someone who takes the situations like the high priestess see how she has the high priestess um and the moon there uh on her on her owl's head and the feather in her hair and the um crow here or raven um, this is someone who really, and you can see in her face, the wisdom and the years that she has grown and the growth. This really is a card of a person who is open to receiving this commune with spirit. Okay. This commune, uh, in, involving, um, communication with spirit and exchanging energy with spirit. And she's open to use that, uh, these spiritual teachings and these life uh, situations as her catalyst for growth and for wisdom, right? So we have the Father Sky, trust in the unknown, air guardian, shift your perception in the way you see things and see it from like the eagle from a higher perspective. There's actually a card exactly like that in this deck. And the wise one grow within your situation within your current situations using this as a catalyst for growth and the seer is at the bottom too so she's like the high priestess um, seeing beyond the current situations is so important um, these two together equal this card for me so father sky trust in the unknown and shift your perception with the air guardian they equal this card for me, the eagle. See things from a higher perspective. It's really cool, actually, how immediately when they came together, I saw that card. Uh, this is very um, awesome advice here and very um, spiritually deep uh, growth here. All right, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? Leo reading for anyone who's guided. What do we need to know for anyone who's guided Leo reading? This reading could resonate right now or later on down the line. We're just going to give a few more shuffles. Okay, I've already shuffled this deck. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Leo, weekly reading for anyone who's guided. All right, let's do it. Father Sky, Air Guardian, and Wise One. What do we need to know about this reading? Leo reading for anyone who's guided whenever they're guided. Whoa, there it goes. Okay, four cups. Four cups in reverse. What else do we need to know? Ooh, that's way too many. I gotta put that back. I'm sorry. That would have been all the cards. I don't want them all at once. Can I just get one or two at a time, please? Look at you. Queen of Cups, the moon. So we're letting go of something emotional or you're trying to um, work through something that's been really emotional. The Ace of Cups came out as a challenge on the side. It shot out the side of the deck too, which was really weird. All right, we'll talk about it. 
Uh, so look, these all came out as challenges. I'm going to put them right across the bottom of your reading. All right, let's talk about that in a sec. All right, so you got all challenges at the bottom. Ace of Cups reversed as a challenge. Seven of Wands. Look how cool the Seven of Wands is. She's put herself into a protective bubble, and all these wands are coming at her, and she's like, eh, whatever. Um, <laughs> and the Page of Wands here reversed again as a challenge. Um, so this says to me... There's new energy that is blocked. And uh, truthfully, I feel like you're the one blocking it, okay? Um, because you've been protecting yourself because you went through something really emotional here with the moon and the four of cups reversed. And look at the queen of cups, how she sits here just like this in the center, like, oh, whatever's going on, I don't give a crap. <laughs> like, that's what I see. I feel like this is definitely your energy or it's someone around you very close to you that they would come up to be the central issue or the sa not central issue, the central part of your reading. Um, none of this is really an issue. All I see here that might be a difficulty for you is the fact that there's new opportunities trying to come in but because of your emotions you're kind of afraid even the four of cups is usually like spirit trying to hand you that one important cup and you know um, sometimes you're reluctant to accept it or you're just not seeing it or you don't fully understand but it has to do with an emotional situation that you've been going through or have gone through that keeps you um, in a bubble of protection and this bubble of protection is as much as it's great for you. Seven of Wands is always my winner, right? But at the same time, it's blocking really cool stuff from happening for you. Look how beautiful these are in the upright. It's exciting. It's new. It's blessings. It's new beginning. It's vibrant. It's, it's all new, new, new. But you've got the bubble up. And that's why this beautiful Seven of Wands, which normally would be such a positive card, is why it comes up as a challenge right underneath of you be or of this important person to you. Because this person, I feel like it's you, is blocking um, anything new from coming in right now. All right. And again, Wounded Warrior right there. I didn't even realize that just reiterates exactly what I said. Wounded Warrior protecting self from any more harm, right? Um, I do feel like you are slowly coming out of your protective bubble. Nine of Swords reversed. You're working on it. The Eight of Pentacles back there. You're working on this healing. There's something here that's he you're healing. All right, let's get into it. The uh, Silver Witchcraft Tarot. This was Lightseer's Tarot, and this was um, Angels and Ancestors. I think I said it, but just in case I didn't. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. I've already shuffled, so I'm just going to do a quick few shuffles. What do we need to know here, Leo reading? What do we need to know here, Leo reading? For anyone who's guided, whenever they're guided, what do we need to know about this reading for anyone who's guided? All right, Leo reading. Let's talk about uh let's talk about the 4 of cups. I'm going to um yeah, well, let's look at the 4 of cups and the moon together. Uh, four cups and the moon together. Four cups is reversed. What do we need to know about this? King of swords reversed. All right. So this might be something could have to do with someone who's an Aquarius um, or even a Libra or Gemini. Um, let me get the moon here too. I, I'm, I mean, I'm going to get them both again. The four cups reversed and the moon reversed. The four of cups reversed in the moon. I want to get one more card on it because we got a people card and I'd like to get a little more information. Four of cups reversed and the moon. Yeah, two of swords. Okay, so we have here, see how she's blindfolded. You know, she's got something covering her eyes, but she's got the two of swords here. She's got a sword in each hand. She's trying to figure something out. She's trying to make decisions. Um, again, her, um, um, I feel like this decision is hard for her to make because of the fact that she's got emotions attached to it. Um, so these emotions are the problem here of why it's so difficult for someone to come out of the protective bubble, to let the guard down and to allow the new in. It's a real, when, when we talk about, um, there's people who can just, you know, I don't know, go out and meet someone and be like, yes, I'm ready for my new beginning, bring it on. But there's other people who are like, wait a minute, what, uh, you know, um, 
I got to protect myself. I've been through this, this, and this. Um, what new, I, I can't just let this new beginning come in. You know what I mean? There's, there's a difference when you're really dealing with somebody who really truly is this wounded warrior. This is a slow go. This takes a while. This isn't somebody who can just be like, boom, let's get married. You know, it just can't go that way. Um, I do feel like everything this person, um, commits to, or, uh, even uh, not even commits to, if somebody's gonna, if this person is going to let that guard down and let this bubble open up, it's going to be done very methodically and thoughtfully. Every decision has to be weighed out in comparison to thought, the perception, right? And emotions. Uh, everything has to be based on, um, wisdom of growth here in in a spiritual sense of needing to see things from a higher perspective and seeing things from another perception and trusting in spirit god universe isn't going to let you be harmed again and this isn't easy for someone to come out of their head like that nine of swords reversed somebody could be like this where they're trapped but in their own head because of the pain that they've been through in the past let's get a look at the queen of cups here what about the queen of cups this is fear of getting hurt again tell me about the queen of cups smack dab in the middle of the leo reading why queen of cups seven of swords three of cups I feel like this person has dealt with a sneaky, shady third party situation. There's something here. This emotions and this fear came from some place. And the place that it came from was Seven of Swords, Three of Cups. See how these people are like, yeah, we got her. This could be bullies. This could be tyrannical people. This could be... this. These could be any group of people at work, at school, at job... Um, at home, this could be family members, this could be neighbors, this could be part of your spiritual group, your church. These are bullies. And this is the thing. These are shady people. These might have really been shady people doing really shady things. And this is why that protection goes up. I have to be clear on who I let in and how I let them into my life. At the bottom, we have strength reverse. That's your card, Leo. Fear. This is fear of being duped again by a group of people or just a third party or it may be this king of swords brought in a third party and crushed this person's world. All right, let's get a look at this. Um, no one's going to crush your world if you let them. You've got to, I know they can crush your world, make you feel like that. We feel like they crush our world, but we can rise like the phoenix from those ashes and recover ourselves we can't let them have it we can't let them have that feet over us um tell me about the seven of wands as a challenge here seven of wands has become a challenge which is one of my favorite cards in tarot really but as a challenge this tells me that this protection might be um to the extreme tell me about the seven of wands here as a challenge Ooh. and somebody might just be blocking themselves off from a sh shady group of people they don't trust seven of wands as a challenge here seven of wands as a challenge please whoa there we go queen of cups that's her <laughs> so this is again i believe it's you leo and i don't care what your gender is but i feel like you're protecting yourself you're guarding yourself you really have to be careful because you these people are no good for you and either you're still protecting yourself from them or they have last left a lasting effect on you um that uh, makes you be very very wise about who you let in and don't let in because you're recovering this is the four of chalices but in this deck for me as a reader this is the five of pentacles okay that's the way i read it you're recovering but you already have the four chalices reversed here as well and it is very similar energy of recovering from something that's been very difficult something to do with this shady group of people something to do with you feeling under attack 
feeling like you have to protect yourself. And for you, this is a very slow going forward movement. You're not just going to tear those walls down in a second. It's going to take some time. All right, let's look at the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands, both as a challenge in reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Cups and the Page of Wands, both as a challenge in reverse. Leo reading. <laughs> okay. It is the Hanged Man Reverse. It slid right down my hand. Um, the Hanged Man Reverse. Absolutely. What did we start with when we started this reading? Hanged Man. Air Guardian. Shift your perception seeing things from another perspective, trying to see things from another perspective. The hangman puts themselves into this position so that they can see it from another perspective. Your new beginnings want to come in for you and spirit says try to see it from another perspective as in maybe it's time to start allowing new opportunities. It doesn't have to be anything in particular but you also got the ace of cups at the bottom as well. So spirit's saying look this new beginning, you, you don't have to see it as a negative or fear like you've been doing here. You can look at it as I'm being handed a new beginning and this is my choice. Seven of chalices reversed. Your choice to allow this new beginning to come into your life, it's really important because it's really going to, I feel like it's really going to bring peace to you. Six of wands, you'll start moving forward again instead of being in lockdown. Um, and being on guard. Okay. And I think this is slowly coming in for you. You're slowly coming out of the stress that these people have put you in. I don't know what you dealt with here, but spirits trying to bring you balance back in your life. And they know that you're fearful strength reverse, but look at this. They're like, this is divinely guided for you. So whatever direction you're being asked to move in, to have this new beginning, they just want you to look at it differently because you almost look at it as an, like, oh no, I got to go back into my shell. So to speak, you could even be a cancer Leo Cusper because of all these cards and you know Leo this also could um, you know it's just your energy no matter how I look at this this is your energy of feeling afraid really uh, whatever this is about whether it be work or home or family or love whatever it is I'm not getting a clear picture which always lets me know that it's different for everyone okay this is how spirit sends me my messages the new beginning is absolutely you will love it and it is blessed and it is peaceful but you really don't know that you're going to have to use your intuition to know and stop blocking it. Don't block these new beginnings because spirit says, father sky, trust in what you don't know and change your perception. You've not, you've got it there, there, and here and use everything that's gone on here as your guidance, your guiding light and the wisdom that you've learned from all of it. You aren't going to let people like this in again. You aren't going to entertain people that are not in your highest good. You're the wise woman or man doesn't matter or whoever you are. Gender does not matter on my channel ever. The only thing I really do always see the emperor as a masculine unless i see him as an energy for people so he can be an energy for people and i always see the empress as feminine or non-binary but not uh masculine but that's your you can switch that anytime but this wise person is the person that i'm talking to here no, regardless of your gender um spirit is just trying to uh give you clarity where you really haven't had any about something I feel like this is like I'm not sure what to do king of swords reverse can be a lack of clarity for me with this four of cups here reluctant to accept the gifts that are being bestowed from the universe and they are coming so spirits like look everything that's happening here we're doing it right but we want you to see that we're doing it because it's all for you so any changes you're experiencing and any choices you have to make, they're being divinely guided to you. Spirit's going, yeah, this is for you. This is for you. Don't be afraid of it. Try not to get afraid of these things, Leo. It, I know that's easier said than done. It's going to take you in another path, in another direction, and it's going to help you feel better about this whatever happened to you that you've needed to heal from that involved this shady group of people. I hope this helps. Um, anyway, let me pull you a couple of angel cards here and we're going to go. 
um you guys so don't forget if you're getting your weeklies today that means tomorrow on saturday you're getting your monthlies the big monthlies are coming out and on sunday you'll get your monday's reading to start your week and you'll also get your financial reading on sunday this week all right because we have so many readings coming out oh my gosh 26 readings coming at you this weekend right now you can see your friday reading as well that's out all right, so enjoy. In fact, um, your Friday reading will be right at the end of this video. I'll attach it to the left-hand corner over here somewhere. Um, right above you will be the Little Witch. If you haven't subscribed, please do. You'll get notifications when all these readings come out. If you see three reading, three notifications come out on my channel any day or even one, come over and see what else comes out because YouTube only allows us three notifications a day. So nine of the zodiac signs aren't allowed to have notifications so when i'm putting out 12 readings all at once you just got to come over and keep refreshing until all 12 come out 12 is a lot to come out all at once it sometimes it takes a few minutes sometimes it could even take five or ten minutes till you see them all publicly okay don't forget that guys so don't think i skipped you i didn't the only sign i don't do for weeklies as of this week is pisces and that's a long story if you want to read about it you can go to the last weekly pisces reading to read why i don't do pisces readings on this channel anymore although there is a pisces monthly coming out it's just the weeklies for now okay but you guys can read about it i don't want to get into it right now angels what do we need to know yeah there it was yeah i saw it trying to come out i don't know if it came out or not but the, the transformation card was trying to come out so the transformation card tried to pop out but instead we got abundance and support beautiful this abundance card is the best card in this deck truly harmony authenticity grace I kid you not, I got I got goosebumps right now. Spirit is sending in the right people. You are not, you are not, you are not letting these people back in. You are not letting people in you don't trust. You know who you can and can't trust. You know how to read people. You have grown. You are this wise person. You know, I'm only letting in supportive people. I'm only letting in authentic people. I'm only letting in harmonious people. I'm not letting in seven of swords, three of cups, reverse people. I'm looking for my abundant new life, my new journey, my new opportunities. And Spirit says that's exactly where we're sending you. But just don't be afraid to go there, okay? Yeah, it's kind of like you you think about it and then you chicken out because you're like, what if, what if, what if? And Spirit's like, this is not happening again to you. This stress will go away for you. This is not happening again for you. You're going to work with people that you can trust, people who don't gaslight you and you know do sneaky shady things and you don't have to feel under attack and like you have to protect yourself it's slowly happening for you it's been coming in for you and spirit says now when it gets here just don't be afraid of it i don't know what this is leo i'd love to hear from you guys if you'd like to comment down below great reading please do like this video and help this channel grow um, like I said, we're not doing the Pisces section of this video for weeklies anymore because they just didn't want to help grow that section. So I decided I was going to stop putting a lot of energy into it. So please, if you like this section of the my uh, readings, um, please do like these videos because I am looking for places to cut back because I'm way, way overworked right now. So I'm just letting the people pick. Like whatever sections you guys like, I'm keeping in whatever sections aren't really liked or aren't growing. I'm going to eventually, little by little, be picking those pieces out of my channel. Anyway, good luck, guys. Um, I appreciate you being here. I hope you enjoy the 26 videos coming at you this weekend. Don't forget to comment and give me feedback, okay? Talk to you guys soon. Bye.